You know, I've been letting you go for a long, long time. Okay, but now today is when you will be put in freaking jail. You will go to jail. You will confess for your sins. You are a sinner against man, God, and society. Same. Now, all these years, let me go. Let me take a switch on. Uh, uh, so this lady, this wicked, she has. She, so she tries to put in some uh, evidence that is not in the thing. And then she doesn't know that I have a good memory and that I read up. And uh, what is my uh, legal training? My legal training is learning at all the mock, uh, mock uh, trials on YouTube. That's my legal training. I have to leave my career, my, my everything. My career was in the ditch. Uh, why? Because of the Superior Court of Justice and they're taking 16 years, 16 fucking years to come up with a something, a justice. You know, you're, you're supposed to be working on justice and you do not have the understanding about what is the meaning of justice. You have failed my children. My children are like a wash. You have made my children, you have put my children into the protection of, you know, call girls and drug mules and and of uh, dregs of society and gang members and, and you made them just like you. No ethics, no morals, nothing. My biggest failure was not listening to these people. You know, if you look at this, there's a lot of this, 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 this graffiti about this family law kills. You know, this is like a 20 year old program problem. This is a problem that has been sustained. All these people, they were laughing at me. They told me, there's no hope for you, my friend. You better quit. You stop wasting your time going to the court. Stop that thing. You, you, um, uh, before they used to be belligerent, okay? And I used to say, no, when I, I trust the system, I'm going to go with the system. I believe in the system. I'm going to use the follow the process. I've been a public servant. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do because I'm going to get my children the right way. The thing, you know, I've been eating humble pie for the past 16 years just for sake of my children. And I will have no more humble pie, sir. You will have humble pie and you will have it behind bars because you are unfit to be a free member of the society because you have destroyed society. All this is all this is proof. This is proof that is in society. This is proof that Miss Wicked, you need to get the hell. And why 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 don't you make Miss Wicked into a uh, judge right here in super uh, in Ontario Court of Justice right here in Sanya? No, you have to put her right over there in the, in uh, Windsor because if you put her right here in Sanya, we will know that this woman is a hater. This woman is like you know she's a wretched. She's the dregs of society. She just pretends you know she has this persona of like a oh yeah 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 angel, but she's actually a damn hater. She hates she she hates you for a man. Yeah? If you have a penis, then Miss Wicked does not like you. You're automatically guilty for sporting a penis. And that is the nature of things. Now Judge Carey, you know, Judge Carey use like a cut from the same cloth as the 60 scoop you cut from the same skull cloth as Donna you you know right on the on all this is right on the record this is right on the record so there's there's no evidence all the evidence is with the superior court of justice all the evidence of this failure of this failure and bias this failure in meeting out justice, this failure in the lack of foundation and evidence, this, this failure in lack of following the, uh, the laws of evidence, this failure in every possible aspect of justice is on the record. You know, when the people who are supposed to meet out justice are the very ones who are the perpetrators of hateful failures of justice, then we do not, we cannot. This is uh, abhorrent. This is absolutely an abomination.
Now, Justice Carey, he's a bum chum to Justice uh, Donahue. So, my statement, my papers and all are clear. Justice, you know, is an evil man. He is plain, simple evil. Why would he be evil? Okay, now, you know, for the past, like, 30 years, how did he come to fame? He's like a two-bit liar. You know, he used to be like a two-bit liar, helping the dregs of society, helping the pimps and the hoes, and uh, helping people um, uh, do money laundering, and uh, helping the people, like, uh, getting away, wording. That's what they call it, challenging, challenging laws for the most of his career. And then all of a sudden, O.J. Simpson happened, and he got the, the thing to be an interpreter for the O.J. Simpson trial for the CBC. So he used to fly his little ass out to L.A. all the time and come back and out and come back and come back. And, and that's what he got famous about it. And when O.J. Simpson walked free, he was like cut up. He was like cut up. Why? Because this sweet little Irish girl was like uh, killed and she seemed like justice was deprived. And O.J. Simpson, just because of the reasonable doubt, again, that is a failure on justice. That is a failure because justice is too damn blind. That is because of playing the game of pin the elephant, you know, pin the elephant. Like what, what is it like? Uh, was the justice actually met out over there? Did we actually experience any kind of justice over there? No, but yet, so because of that, he has come back to, when he came back to Canada, he was made into a judge. Oh, look at him, look at the fine job he has done in interpreting the O.J. Simpson law. He's shot to fame, no, he can't be a lawyer, so let's make him into the judge. Yeah, so we'll make him into a traveling judge that has gone all over northern Ontario and gone all over there and perpetrated, you know, the, the failure of justice with O.J. Simpson case. He has taken out that anger, that bitterness, and that failure on every single man that he has encountered in family law. Especially since his own son is supposed to be gay. I did not know about that till recently because he uses that as an excuse. Oh, my child is gay and that's why they want to like abuse me and ill treat me. Well, no, sir. We want to like, you know, actually get you and drag you to justice or if there's any such thing as justice, is because of your failure, is because you're a sociopath, is because you're a lying piece of, you know, putrid menu. You are the perpetuator of perpetual hate. You are the reason why family law is like in the gutter. You are the reason because you have set the precedence of the family law to such a low degree that you use all this as a, as a as a reference, he is used always in case law. You know, he has created this case law way. The office of the children's lawyer can go fuck itself. You know, the psychologists can go damn themselves. The people who are experts with what is the best interest of the child can go damn themselves. They can go jump in the river. They can go do anything. Judge Donahue knows what's in the best interest of the children. Judge Donahue knows exactly what. So the, the the final restings rests with the Superior Court of Justice in knowing exactly what is right for the children, which is like a crock of shit. Because you do not. If you did, then we would not have have this overdose crisis. If you did, we would not have human trafficking. If you. Did,